Hello everyone, this is Joseph Roy, laser engineer here at IPG Photonics. We're gonna take you on a tour on how a light weld is created, from the initial manufacturing of the diodes all the way to the final assembly. Now, we're gonna show you the difference between an American-made product and some of our four competitors. The difference being is American craftsmanship and American quality. Delivering quality to our end users is our key goal here at IPG. So let's take this tour and show you how it's done. Okay, so here we are at the IPG machine shop. This is where the journey of building a light weld begins. I'm here with Fred. Fred is the machine shop supervisor. So Fred, can you tell us how we start with building a light weld? Yes, yeah, so let me uh, just reiterate. We're here in Oxford, Mass, IPG machine shop. It's an American company. So one of our secret sauces to this handheld laser is our diode packages. They're produced here. Each part is precisely cut visually inspected, and also I can say mechanically inspected by one of our 50 craftsmen here at IPG in Oxford. So Fred, what are the other manufacturing processes that takes place in this building? Well, we have multiple machines. As you can see, it's a, it's a big building. Like I said, we have 50 American craftsmen here, very well versed in their occupation. We have five axis machines. We have laser cutting machines. We have prototype machines. We have production machines, all running daily making a very good product. This is the whole point of American Made, quality workmanship and people like Fred who make this happen. Thank you, Fred, I appreciate that. I appreciate it. Let's head over to our next stop. Okay, so we are here over at the EMA facility. EMA stands for Electromechanical Assembly. I'm here with Danielle. Danielle is a quality insurance inspector. Danielle, can you tell me why this is an important stop in the building of a light weld? Hi, Joe. My name's Danielle and I work at the IPG Photonics in the Oxford Mass facility. This is an important stop because not only do we assemble the components of the light weld, but we also inspect each unit 100% to make sure they are ready for our customers to use. So this is station one of our light weld facility. Station one does the front panel of the chassis. He puts the front label on. He then puts the knobs on and adds the screws and cables that connect to the PCB boards. This is station two. This is the rear panel assembly. He is responsible for installing the plug to the outside of the unit, along with all the wiring components and screws. This is station three. Here he does the fan assembly. He assembles the fan and tests that it runs correctly for a certain length of time. He also attaches the handles and feet that are on the bottom of the unit. This is station four. This is the last station before it moves to quality assurance. Here, he attaches the front and rear panels to the light weld frame. Once it comes to me, I do a well-rounded inspection of the whole unit. I make sure nothing is damaged, nothing is missing, and it's working the way that it should. Once my inspection is 100% complete, I sign off that it's good to move on to the next process. Danielle, thank you so much for your expertise in building this product and for the great tour you just gave us. Well, you're absolutely welcome, Joe. It was a pleasure having you and I hope you have fun with the rest of your day. Thank you so much. Let's head over to Torch Assembly. Here we are in the Torch Assembly Department. I'm here with Chris. Chris, can you tell me a little bit about yourself, your role in this environment, and how we build a superior torch to our competitors? Yeah, so my name is Chris Cosma, and I'm the production manager for Lightwell Torch Assembly, and I've worked for IPG Photonics for 18 years. So what are some of the unique processes and procedures for us to ruggedize this torch, and uh, how we differentiate the, the robustness to our competitors? Yeah, so we know our Lightwell Torch can be used in some pretty harsh environments. So keeping the inside of the head clean is very important. So we spend a lot of effort and care to keep everything uh, free of contamination and to seal the head from any external environmental contamination from getting inside the head. Now, I notice ours are made of metal, whereas a lot of our competitors are made of plastic. What's the reason for that? Yeah, so the metal housing actually works as a heat sink mm. to protect the head uh, from any heat that may be building up during the process. A lot of our competitors use plastic, which can melt and actually lead to an uh, inferior product. Now, I noticed you mentioned about sealing the torch so that no contamination can get in. Um, does the gowns have something to do with that? Yes, it does. So we wear gowns to keep uh, contamination around the assembly of the head as, as low as possible. Keeping the head clean, keeping all the optics free of contamination and defects helps our customers keep welding longer. That's really great. Chris, thank you so much for all the hard work you do. And I really appreciate all the, the care and precision you put into our final product. 
Let's head up to Final Assembly in Marlboro, Massachusetts. So here we are in Marlboro at the final production and testing area. I'm here with TJ Murphy. He is the production manager, and he's gonna walk us through some of the protocols and procedures that we do in the final assembly. So TJ, what are some of the responsibilities that we have when we're finally putting the machine in its last processes? Well, here uh, in our Marlboro facility, we do final assembly, and final assembly includes putting together the modules, and we go through a quality control program where we go through a lot of testing. The first test is a four-hour burn-in where we run the machine for four hours continuously at full power. So each machine that comes out of there, we know is ready to weld. So that's 100% duty cycle. Absolutely. Wow. After that, Joe, it comes out and after final assembly goes into our test area located here behind us. And in the test area, we're doing all of our final laser checks, making sure that the beam quality looks good coming through so we get good welding results. And also we do some weld testing inside there too. When it comes out here, every single machine goes through a final QC check by our quality control manager. Fantastic. Yeah. And this is what Made in America means. We care about the quality, we care about the end product, and we care about you as the consumer, making sure you get all of these benefits brought to you. Okay, so here we are at the end of the tour. We've been to beam delivery, we've been to the diode factory, we've been to the machine shop, and here we are at final assembly. So the takeaway from this tour is this. I hope you understand that this machine is built by American workers with American quality. If you have any questions about this machine or handheld laser welding in general, please go to lightweld.com. Thanks for watching.